Hi, readers. This week, you guys have been awesome word ninjas. And anytime you came to a word that you didn't know, you guys solved it using one of your strategies. You're going to keep doing that because that's what good readers do. When they come to a word they don't know, they solve it. They find a strategy and they solve it. So use them today. But we're actually going to focus on something different today. Instead of thinking about words that we don't know, we're actually going to go back to our fluency. Remember, fluency means quickly and correctly. Moving at a good pace, but also getting the words right, okay? So to work with our fluency and our expression, the way our voice changes as we read, we're going to be looking at punctuation. And I know we did that last week. Remember when there was like a question mark? Whenever you saw a question mark, you, you your voice went up at the end because it was a question. So like if I had the question, how, how are you? Do you see how I said the word you? My voice went up. How are you? That's because it's a question. I have to put my voice up. If I'm just saying, I am doing fine, and there's a period, I'm just going to read it in a normal voice. I'm doing fine. If it's exciting, like, it's my birthday. And it has an exclamation point. Remember, we say it in an exciting voice. So it's going to say, it's my birthday. See how my voice is up the whole time because I'm trying to be excited? It's my birthday. So we do pay attention to the, to the punctuation. But sometimes we also have punctuation that's inside of our sentence. And we need to pay attention to it to help us know when to pause give a second and then keep reading. So anytime there's punctuation, it tells us we're gonna pause right here and then keep reading, okay? So I'm gonna give you an example from our book, The Big Bed, that we read yesterday. So I'm turning to this page because it has a lot of punctuation in it, this one. Some of it, if you look ahead, you can see there's some question marks, there are periods, there's also things called comma. Commas in inside of the sentence. It's not the end of the sentence, it's inside of it. When we see commas, we pause. So let me show you how I would read this so that I pause every time I see punctuation, okay? So it says, Daddy, pause. Daddy, are you scared of the dark? See how my voice went up because it was a question? Because I am. I know you're convinced that my, my deep sea ocean wonder fishy light is some kind of night watchman. But you should know that it creates more shadows than it banishes. I can't sleep alone. Did you notice how I paused every single time there was punctuation? Like here, I said, because I am. Then I paused. Then I read on. I know you're convinced that my deep sea ocean wonder fishy light is some kind of night watchman. Then I paused because there's a comma. Then I went go on. But you should know that it creates more shadows than it banishes. There's a period, so I pause. I can't sleep alone. And then I pause. That's what I want us to work on today. Pay attention to the punctuation. When you see something, pause. Then keep reading with one breath. I'm gonna show you another example by sharing my screen so you guys can see the words a little bit better and the punctuation. So I created this sentence here. You'll notice, looking ahead, I have a comma. So I'm gonna have to pause. I have, here, let me make this a little bit bigger. I have an exclamation point. That means I'm gonna have to raise my voice and say it excitingly. I have more commas in here. I have some periods, so I'm gonna have to pause a few times. So ready? I'm gonna read it with expression and fluency. Ready? Hurry! You're going to miss the show! Did you see how I paused there? Hurry! You're going to miss the show! And I also said it 
with an exciting voice because of the exclamation point. My sister, brother, cousin, and I are performing a song for my mom and dad. The show starts in two minutes. We will not be waiting for anyone. Okay, notice my pauses. Whenever there's a, a comma, I pause. My sister, brother, cousin, and I are performing a song for my mom and dad. The show starts in two minutes. We will not be waiting for anyone. Every time I went like this, it's because I paused because I saw some sort of punctuation that's telling me as a reader, <gasps> stop and then keep reading with one breath, okay? So as you're reading today, pay attention to those punctuation. If you see a comma, pause. If you see a period, pause before you start reading. A lot of people like to do this. It sounds very different, ready? I'm not gonna pause and I'm gonna show you how crazy it sounds. Hurry, you're going to miss the show. My brother, my sister, brother, cousin, and I are performing a song for my mom and dad. The show starts in two minutes. We will not be waiting for anyone. It's a lot harder to understand when you read that fast and you aren't pausing where you need to. The pausing helps you understand. The author, the writer, they were thinking about you and how you are going to read it when they wrote their story. They wanted you to pause. That's why I have a comma here. They want me to stop for a second. Hurry, you're gonna miss the show. My sister, brother, cousin, and I are performing a song for my mom and dad. The show starts in two minutes. We will not be waiting for anyone. The pausing makes it easier to know what's going on in this story. So I want you to do that today as you read. You're gonna read for 20 minutes, after you read for 20 minutes, you're going to go back to Seesaw. On Seesaw, you are going to tell me the title of the book that you read. And, or I'm sorry, you'll ha you'll, you're going to make a video. So you'll show me the book that you read. And then you're going to pick one sentence and you're going to read it. Show me that you're pausing after your, the end of your um at the end of your page, okay? So I guess pick one page, not a sentence. And you're going to read me that page. Make sure to follow the punctuation. If there's a period, pause, then keep reading. If there's a comma, pause, then keep reading, all right? So read for 20 minutes, go to Seesaw, Pick a page you want to read to me and make a video. You're making a video of yourself reading that page. So if I read the book, The Big Bed, I would go on to Seesaw and I'd pick my one page. I want to read to Mrs. Davis. I want to read this page to Mrs. Davis. And I'm going to go ahead and say, so I click video. I press play. I said, Mrs. Davis, I read the book, The Big Bed. I'm going to read to you this page. Daddy, you're scared. Are you scared of the dark? Because I am. I know you're convinced that my deep sea ocean wonder fishy light is some kind of night watchman, but you should know that it creates more shadows than it banishes. I can't sleep alone. All right, I'm done. And I'd click the pause button and then I would go ahead and turn in my video of me reading my sentence to Mrs. Davis. All right, it's your turn. Get to reading. Pick one page you want to read to me and show me how fluent and expressive your voice can be as you're reading. You got it.